Hello and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Laser Terrain Company's modular spaceship interior pre-painted MDF terrain. Yes, got it right. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new, do think about subscribing here and liking the video and hitting the alarm bells uh, for more videos to come. That really helps me out. Onto the product. I ordered this through a friend a while ago. I've had it here for, um, I don't know, like six months maybe. I did pay for it, it's not sponsored, they didn't give it to me. But it's been sat in these boxes for ages and I've been waiting for a time to do something. And now with the space I've got, I think I can. So onto the product, it is a three mil MDF product with painted tops and a bit etched, stuff like that. It goes together, it's completely modular. Um, it goes together with like a jigsaw puzzle. Um, all the edges seem to match up. I think there's about four or five different bits. There's like a, a T-junction, a central bit, corridors and corners. So I have no idea how this goes together. I've got no instructions for it, um, but I can see through the pictures, the, the walls actually arch up, so it's kind of like 3D, it comes up as well. A bit like Zoe Mortality would do really well for any sci-fi game. I mean, Kill Team Arena is what I'm hoping to use this for. Going to have a go and look at this and see what it looks like. I think with a bit of weathering, a bit of sort of chipping and maybe some powder, it would look even better, but it's quite clean. So as if you wanted that kind of interior space, you definitely could. So yeah, I'm going to figure out how it goes together. I'm going to show you the trials and troubles I may have doing this. And I will do a little review at the end and tell you what I think about it and show you it's a finished product. So I'll catch you guys in a second. The first job I had to do was get all of the sheets into order and pop out something from everything. So I wanted to have as much of the product here as I could to figure it all out in one go. So I popped out all the flat pieces, all what seemed to be the walls and the girders and the struts. And there's a few bits I didn't actually figure out, which I eventually figured out were ladders, but lots of tiny little pieces. They're basically put apart where you get two side pieces and then you have to put all the steps on as well. It's actually really cool stuff. It's, there's a lot to do, lots of little niggly bits you have to put in and out. So they seem to take me quite a while on this build. But the actual product itself is really good. I quite like it. It's firm. It's the, the painting's pretty good on it. I mean, there's some bits where there's like paint overspill, but I don't think it's really going to matter at the end, especially once it's all together. These bits are the struts. These seem to actually be the most annoying part. There's a lot of these, maybe a hundred. I'm not even sure on the whole sets, maybe more. They have about five or six different little pieces you have to pop out of them. Now these are quite fiddly. Um, I'm having to use a knife to sort of cut the one join and then push it through. Sometimes they go quite well and sometimes they don't, but they do leave uh, quite a lump on them. So I probably have to end up cutting that down this is as far as I got on the first day. So you can see, none of this is glued, I just wanted to put it together, but you can see the kind of build this is gonna be. Okay, so it's been about five or six hours since I started this project now, and it's taken me ages to get to this point. I've used kind of one of each of the main MDF sheets, uh, maybe two of another one as well, but I've got about another, I've got about this four times again. So this is gonna be a big board. It's gonna probably fill a six by four with a wall around the outside and a, a big flat interior. Bit of a pain putting it together, no instructions. It's made it a little bit harder, but with the power of the internet, I have managed to sort of see what the pictures look like online. Now, this is MDF and they do seem to advertise a plastic one now. So maybe this is a very old kit or the Kickstarter. I'm not entirely sure, but I've got the hang of it. I can see how it's gonna look now. It's looking quite cool. Still a bit of work to be done. I've not glued any of these in place yet. I will probably just use super glue and mitre fast to be a bit quicker. I'm gonna spray all the stanchions and the ladders, those kinds of bits, they took me a while to figure out, but I'm gonna spray those black because they do, they are left with that sort of three mil of brown where the, where the, the wood color, and I don't really like that poking into other MDF terrain. Um, but I've got another sort of 12 sprues of, or big MDF sheets of completely different stuff. I'm guessing this is doorways and walkways from what I've managed to sort of see online. So I'll get stuck into that. The, the, base floor looks a little bit different. These go together quite well, actually. I've got eight sections here, and they are like big jigsaw pieces, and they seem to fit quite nicely. So, yeah. 
First impressions, a lot of work. Uh, this is just me doing this one, and um, I wish I had someone here to do it with me. So I might call them some reinforcements at some point. So I'll see how much of this I'm actually going to do. I'm going to do a bit of one of each of the other sprues and then sort of have an idea of what it is. So I will do those and I'll show you guys that as I go through that stage as well. And then I'll catch you back at the end for a massive board or a smaller board. I'm not sure. It's kind of ending a bit vloggy, actually. It was meant to be just like a six minute MDF train video, but it's taking forever. So um, yeah, back for day two tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys then. Fortunately, for the second day, I was actually joined by a friend, Sean. So this is Sean. I had him on popping duties as well. We were doing all the struts here. So this does seem to be the most time consuming part of the build. As you can see, he's not particularly impressed. But um, once he's here, I was in the car, he couldn't get back. So I trapped him and made him do hundreds of these. I then decided to spray them up because the tufts were still obvious even after cutting them all off. So we actually got a cheap can of Pound Shop Black spray. Uh, Make sure you use gloves here just so you don't go love your hands. That is how many there were. There were actually two trays like this. So we needed to lay them all out, spray them and then flip them around and spray them again. I did go over in the end with a grey spray can as well just to give a little bit of a, of a textured and sort of bit of a highlight to them. I would have used silver but it didn't really seem in keeping with the board. You'll see in a minute when these are actually in place. This is actually another day from here. This might be day three or four. Uh, Sean has now abandoned me and left me to it. So I'm just putting the whole thing together now. I'm using super glue and Mitofast from the Luke's APS stuff on Geek Gaming. So check my link below for that. You can buy the product there. It's really cheap. It's great. So you just put a dab of super glue, spray with the Mitofast and it bonds instantly. So it looks great. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you me putting these together and I'll talk to you guys at the end. Well, there you have it. The board is done and it looks awesome. I've got a six by four here. There's lots of other bits I've not put on this or haven't finished putting together because the one main reason is this has taken me four days to do. Uh, not even kidding, four days to get to this point. This is all glued in now. You've seen the entire way and I don't need to tell you about that. Uh, my honest opinion, it looks great. I can't wait to get this on the channel and mess about with it a bit more. Lots of different layouts I can do. You can make this a bit more corridor-esque. Uh, I don't have loads of the corridor sections, but they are there. So it would be awesome for like kill team arena stuff. Um, it's great for any general kill team, 40K. Any missions for any other games where maybe the ship's landed and it's landed on a section of your six x four and then you've got like into the open. There's lots of little barricades and doors and things I haven't put together yet. There's internal structures and buildings to this. So I guess you can have walkways and stuff. You can make this quite good for like a Necromunda style board. So it's really versatile and the pieces go together really well. Um, really happy with it. It's just taken me forever to do. I had my friend Sean come up the other day. So thanks very much to him. You will see him again on the channel at some point soon, I'm sure. But my God, what, like I'm exhausted and done with putting together MDF terrain right now. So. Um, it was meant to be a quick, cheap and easy one. And, you know, I think now if you check on the Laser Code site, this must have been a Kickstarter. They would normally send instructions. Obviously, that was down to me getting it second hand. But um, now it seems to be a plastic set. So that's really nice. And I think that would look cool. And I massive thumbs up to the guys for doing this. Um, as I say, I paid for it, but I paid for it as well with these digits. Um, I've cut myself a million times putting this together, but it looks cool. So not a lot more to say, and I hope you've enjoyed looking at it and watching it. And if you guys have any experience with this kind of stuff yourself, drop some comments below. If you've got the plastic set, let me know how that was to put together, or if you needed to put them together. Would I buy it? I definitely would, because I did, and I'm glad I did, because I don't even actually need a board to play this. I can just put this on, you can put this on your coffee table. You don't need an actual board. It is a board, as well as like a modular terrain piece. You know what I mean? So really cool, and yeah, I like it. I'm just sick of it. So, um, Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the alarm bell below for more videos to come. And if you guys want to support the channel, check below in the Geek Gaming affiliate stuff there, the things I use for Luke's APS products, the glue, I use the Mitofast and the Super Glue as well, so you can get them, they're available there. I've got some Amazon affiliate links down below. But if you want to support the channel, do check out my Patreon because that's the way I can sort of keep these lights running. Uh, the studio is set up and sorted now, but it's just now hopefully trying to, you know, keep going with the products and keep going with the videos. So do check that out there. There's a Discord as well you can get in so you can chat to myself, Luke and a few other people in there. But yeah, what more can I say? Awesome terrain, took forever to do. So thanks so much guys and I'll catch you in another video. Yeah.